Hey there, good morning everyone. Friday the 3rd of June 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from the book of James chapter 3, reading verses 1 and 2 which read, Not many of you should presume to be teachers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. If anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is a perfect man, able to keep his whole body in check. King Solomon wrote in Proverbs chapter 25 verse 11, A word aptly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Words are strange things. They boil over in our hearts, and when they spill out, they are forever part of the record. Have you ever said, I'll take that back? But you really cannot. There's a saying that goes, once a bell has been rung, it cannot be unrung. The one who heard you say those words can forgive you, but they've heard those words and they will remember them. Like the water that sinks into the sand or a flower that has been plucked off a stem, so are the words that once they've slipped over your lips, they cannot be withdrawn. There are ways of learning to cultivate the habit of saying the right thing at the right time. And it all begins with discipline. Usually the greatest problem is a lack of discipline. Much of what is said shouldn't, really shouldn't have been said in the first place. And I know we've all felt like this where we really think and say, I really feel like giving them a piece of my mind. And then we've said the wrong thing. Jesus reminds us in Matthew chapter 12, verses 36 and 37, he says, But I tell you that men will have to give account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. For by your words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. All that one says may be true, but it is really not necessary to say all that is true. Once again, James advises us, don't be too eager to tell others their faults, for we all make many mistakes. So the first guideline is to learn discipline in what you say. Secondly, to cultivate the word and the habit of sharing encouragement with everyone you meet. A word of encouragement means more than we can possibly imagine. We struggle to pass on encouragement but it requires some practice. There is much in encouragement, a word of cheer to keep up morale and to give courage. There is much in a world which tears down and destroys. Learn to boost and to build up. A few words in a matter of haste can destroy a relationship that took years to build. Number three, learn to cultivate the word of testimony, sharing with others the goodness of God in your life. Don't brag about it or rub people's nose in it, but humbly encourage your neighbor to reach out to the divine strength of the, of the Almighty, of him who knows no weariness. My dear friends, the tongue is small, but my, 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 what a powerful tool it is. It can build up or it can break down. How you use your tongue is entirely up to you, and I would encourage you to rather use it for good than to build others up. It makes such a difference, and we desperately need that in our world today. May the Lord be with you. May he bless you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.